Hello everyone! Welcome to another studio vlog. In my last vlog, I told you I started an Etsy sticker shop and I showed you how I make my stickers. If you want a more in-depth look at how I make my regular stickers, the video is linked up here and in the description as well. I also want to mention this video was filmed over several days, that's why you see differences in lighting. In the most basic explanation, I print the stickers, laminate them, and then cut them with the Cricut. Fun story, I made these Stranger Things text stickers not thinking much to it. I actually wasn't even gonna do them at first because I didn't think no one would care for them and it's just text. Turns out that this Chrissy wake up sticker is becoming a bestseller and is the moment right now so I'm just very surprised. Now on to sticker sheets. I am actually working on two new sticker sheets, this summer one and this nautical one. But designing sticker sheets actually takes me a long time. In this video, I'm gonna make mini sticker sheets that I already designed. The first important thing to know is to have the stickers on a separate folder from the sheet background design. I am using Procreate by the way, so first I will hide the folder with the stickers. So I have the sheet design and I will save and transfer that to my computer. Next, I need only the stickers, so I will click to show the stickers and hide everything else. And then save and transfer it to my computer. Onto the Cricut Design Studio, go to Canvas, and then Upload. You will need to upload both files. Select the file, choose Complex, Continue, Print, then Cut, and do the same thing with the other file. Now that we have both files uploaded, add the background sheet design first to the canvas. And resize to however you want. I'm making mini sheets, so these will be 4 inches in height. Now here's a trick so your Cricut will actually cut out your sheets and not just the stickers. So I will change the position of my first sheet to 0.1 and 0.1 on the X and Y axis then copy paste and change the position again to 0.1 and 0.1 
and repeat two more times. Now that you have four sheets, select them all and click attach. Now add the sticker file to the canvas and this time I just eyeball it to fit inside the sheet. Once you're happy with it, select everything and click attach. And if you want more sheets, just select everything and copy and paste to maximize the use of the sticker paper. Because I'm doing mini sheets, I'm able to fit four sheets into one page. But my regular size sticker sheets will only fit two sheets per page and I just turn them sideways. After you have all the sheets ready, make sure to select everything and attach. Save the project and click make it. Send to printer and uncheck to add bleed, we don't need that, and check to use system dialog. Always remember that the dialog will show up behind the Cricut Design Studio, so minimize the page to see it. This took me a while to get used to. Adjust your printer settings as you'd like and print. As for cutting settings, I set it to washi tape 0.06 millimeters, and this will do a kiss cut. So it will cut the surface of the stickers, but will not cut all the way through the sheet. This step is maybe unnecessary, but I like to round the corners. And these are all the mini sticker sheets I made today. I'm very happy with them. New studio tour time. So on the last video, I showed you I was working out of my dining table. 
But now that my husband needs a table for his work, I had to make changes. A month ago, Michael's had a big sale, so I bought this tan drawer card and this crafting table, which I love so much. Everything's organized, and the table opens and closes on both sides, so I have some vinyls, Here I store most of my stickers. Some more vinyls. In here I have my sticker paper and my laminating sheets. In here I have some cardstock paper. Uh, just some notebook and some tissue paper in here it's kind of scrap paper halves of paper that I store some bubble wrap some bubble mailers and this one is kind of miscellaneous really some manuals ink and bubble wrap and under the table, there's more storage, I have more stickers, keychains, my bookmarks, both of my acrylic keychains. And the bottom is just extra storage, I have extra mats and cutting mats. And lastly, I'm just gonna pack some orders. I actually filmed this over several days. I've been getting quite a lot of orders for the past two weeks. I'm really so thankful for all the orders and I'm so happy to see my shop growing. And every order includes a freebie by the way.
So this is it for the vlog. Do let me know what you would like to see more of for future studio vlogs, like which part or aspect of it would you like to see more of or any kind of tutorials, any kind of information. Uh, do let me know in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.